All it takes is one unexpected swerve or a big bump and a child can go flying over the handlebars of a bike. Today some students in Barrie got an excellent lesson on the things they need most to stay safe. That's how soft your brain is and it's jello-like and it's protected by your skull which is three pennies thick. This is part of a province-wide program called Helmets on Kids. And the genesis of the program is that uh, I'm a personal injury lawyer. I mean, I'm a part of an organization of personal injury lawyers across the province called the Ontario Trial Lawyers Association. We see too many families coming into our office with children that have been seriously brain injured because they aren't wearing helmets. So about 10 years ago, we started up a program where we started distributing helmets to young people across the province. Two years ago, we brought the program to Simcoe County. So what we're doing is we're doing safety awareness programs and helmet distribution across the county. Okay, so the proper way to see that a helmet fits is two fingers above the eyebrow. So this helmet is fitting two fingers above her eyebrow, four along the ears, so the V's around her ears on both sides, and one under the chin. And she's got, you can get one fin finger under this chin. If the helmet isn't strap correctly or if it's too loose you lose a lot of the benefits of wearing the helmet um, if the strap isn't secure and the helmet comes off there's absolutely no point wearing it of course and if the helmet is very loose fitting then you, the head just ends up bouncing around in the helmet itself and provides very little protection unfortunately the last few years uh, the number of children we see with head injuries while they're wearing helmets is, is very rare um, and we really don't see children biking without helmets fortunately. And police also remind parents that it's an $85 fine for not wearing a helmet.